Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my fifth thrift store haul, and like I always say, if you know what any of these dolls are, be sure to comment down below and help me identify them. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Starting off, I actually found some new in-box Barbies, which I don't really normally see, but I picked out a couple of them that I really liked. So first, let's take a look at this Peaches and Cream one. This is the reproduction Peaches and Cream 1985 Barbie Collector doll, and she was only $10. Later, I looked this up on Amazon and it's worth over $100 to $140. At least that's what some people are selling it for, which I thought was crazy. So I'm really happy that I found her. I also found this Target exclusive Barbie. She's from 2012 and she is very purpley and beautiful. And then lastly, for $5, I got this Butterfly Art Kira. She's so beautiful, and I absolutely love the Kira face mold. Next, of course, is my buttload of bags. Let's first start with this Bratz doll that I got, and she was $2. All right, so I have to admit, one of the main reasons why I bought this doll was because of this little dinosaur that came with it. This is the cutest dinosaur I've ever seen in my life. It is the perfect little baby dino. This Bratz doll is Roxy, and I know this because I actually used to have her. I'm not sure whose outfit she's wearing. Um, she kind of looks like she has some corn or something in her hair. I don't know if you can see this, but she does have some dirt stains on her face. So I'll have to see if I can get that off. Otherwise, she's in pretty good condition. Next, I got these two for $3 together. I can tell by her tan skin and necklace that this is the Cali Girl Barbie. Her hair is up in a ponytail. Her earrings are broken. And she's wearing this Sleeping Beauty kind of dress. This is the other doll. Now, I don't know who she is, but I did kind of buy this pack because of her. I thought she kind of looked like she could be a mom character which I think would be pretty cool. She has brunette hair, and then I don't know what she's wearing, but it says Original Barbie right there above the pocket. And it's this yellow top with some flowers on it, and then she's got on these kind of sparkly jeans. She also has a little bit of staining on her face that I'm going to try to remove. Next, I got this Barbie with a bunch of different accessories for $6. There's so much stuff in here, and I don't even know what any of it is. This is one of the Halloween Barbies. She has blonde and pink hair. She's wearing a black and pink bat dress and some silver high heels. Now let's see what's in here. We've got a few pillows, a silver purse, a hot pink fluffy dress, a blanket to match the pillows, a purple hair comb. Uh, I'm kind of scared. It looks like a washcloth, but it's actually a rug. This is actually kind of weird and cool at the same time. Ooh, we got this sleeping bag. Pretty nice. I don't know what this is. It almost looks like a hat. What the heck is this? Um, what? Wait, this is so big. I'm assuming this is just another sleeping bag. I, I don't know what this is, but it says it was made in 2009. It also has this thing on the end. We got this bat purse, which probably goes with the Halloween Barbie. This dog dish bowl that says eat, nap, play with some paw prints on it. And some black shoes. I also got some more doll accessories, and these were a dollar each. So first, okay, we got this floral print dress that looks like it's from the 1700s. We've got these bloomers. These look so old. I got this blue apron, and it's so bright and colorful. Ooh, this dress actually looks really pretty. This is actually really cute. It's this red polka dot dress. And then lastly, in this bag, we've got this... It almost looks like a picnic table. This is a really cute dress too, actually. This is the other bag of clothes, and I accidentally ripped the bag. Wah. 
This is a really nice red and blue jacket. It looks like there was some kind of little logo right here, but it came off. So this is from an NBA Barbie doll. So this is the shirt it came with. I also got these teal shorts with this yellow stripe going down the side. I got another shirt, a hat, and these shoes. I got these two Barbies for $3 together. This is Barbie and she seems to be having a little bit of a back problem. I don't know what's going on, but girl, I think you need to go to the chiropractor. Okay, there we go. So if anybody knows which Barbie this is, comment down below. This is the outfit she came wearing. I feel like I've seen this before, but I'm not sure where. This is the other doll that came with Barbie and I believe this is a summer fashionista. Her face and hair are a little bit dirty and messy looking. She's got a piece of string in her hair. Eh. And this is her outfit. I got this Teresa doll for $4. Oh yes, she is in very good condition. Definitely worth all of my George Washingtons. I don't even see any speckles of dirt on her face. Her hair is a little frizzy, but it's not too bad. Normally when I find jointed fashionistas from the thrift store, their joints will be really loose, but hers are actually pretty stiff. Praise Jesus. And this is the dress she came with. And lastly, I got these two for $3. She looks kind of crazy. Um, I don't know which Barbie this is, but she is wearing a Dorothy dress. So that's kind of interesting. And the other doll that came with her. Oh! Oh! No! Guys, this is the worst tragedy yet. Her hands are chewed off. No! I did not even see that. Are you serious right now? No! I'm so sad! I really like this doll too! Alright, well, I don't know which doll this is, but I quickly saw her face and I thought it was so pretty, so I was just like, get in my bag. But clearly, I did not take a closer look. I also just noticed that her lip paint is coming off. No! This poor doll. She also came wearing this Chinese looking dress. It's red and it has a bunch of pretty little flowers on it. Last but not least, because I almost forgot about this, this was $3 and this is a Pixel Chick. This actually used to be one of my favorite toys when I was little. So if you don't know what a Pixel Chick is, it's kind of similar to a Tamagotchi. Basically this little girl appears and you can have her do different things. You can dress her up, you can have her watch TV, eat a sandwich, which was my favorite thing to have her do actually. And you can see kind of all of the things you can do with these buttons. You can have her go to the bathroom, you can have her go outside. So let's turn it on and see if she pops up. All right, can we get you to eat a sandwich? Cause that's what I really want to see right now. This girl is so sassy. Battery low. No. All right, let's try this again. Hello, I'm your new friend. Uh... All right, you are so sassy. Um, can you eat a sandwich? Because you are a sandwich. Yes, sandwich time. Mm -hmm. She just takes super big bites. You can also connect the houses to little houses. This one's mad at me because I haven't turned it on in a while. And there's spider webs. Oh, see, she's waving. Wait. Oh, see? She came over to her house. She just falls asleep on her? Like, what is your problem? She's like, get out of here. So that was my fifth thrift store haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!